I may have just missed my first Magical Express. There should be something at the door. Yep. We'll be back again, though. This is a tricky one. How do I pack this without it getting ruined? Oh, gosh. When I travel with fragile items like that, usually I just pack it in with like clothes that are already in my bag and usually it makes it okay. This adventure came and went extremely quickly, but I am very glad we had the opportunity to come and see the Festival of the Arts. It was awesome. One of the biggest advantages of shorter trips is that I get to see more festivals that I haven't seen before. But a big disadvantage is that I feel like I'm rushing around the whole time. Now you may have noticed I am wearing jeans today. That's because it's supposed to be nine, a single digit, nine degrees at BWI when I land this evening. But it's also not supposed to get out of the, I think, upper 50s or 60s today, so jeans are perfect today. Okay, I think we have absolutely everything. Yep, we're set to go. All right, bye Coronado Springs room. See you soon. Elevators are that way. I've got to make more time to experience more of the resorts in the future. The problem is there are so many new things happening at Walt Disney World all the time. I feel like I don't have any time to do that. So we'll make more time in the future. Bag is all checked in for the flight. Now we just wait for the Epcot bus. Thank you, Liz. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. 8.42 in the morning, that, <laughs> a lot of people going to Epcot with us. I love seeing him as the star of the show. I just, I love it. Six minutes to go till opening. You can see there are many crowds waiting to get into Epcot, but Pluto is meeting right here. Great opportunity for it. Pluto, how are you? Good to see you, buddy. You're looking great. You are ready for the festival, I can tell. Just met Pluto, but they just dropped the rope. This is the part that I like to be kind of at the back of the line. Everyone's rushing ahead, but we're kind of bringing up the rear. That's fine. It is a beautiful Epcot day. Let's head off to Layout, one of my favorite spots for breakfast in Epcot. Good morning, Epcot. Take a look at the expression section. It is a totally new piece of art. Nothing is colored in. You can see the numbers are there, so they're ready. So we'll have to try it again later. But you can see there are numbers here, but it's totally blank until the guests start to come and paint it in. Take a look, I'm in England right now. You can see, I think that's a wedding. I'm pretty sure there's a wedding happening back there. I saw a wedding party leave from Coronado. Maybe that's the same group. Wow. Just confirmed with an extremely kind cast member. That is a wedding right there in England. World Showcase at 9, 10 in the morning. That is really cool. Good morning, bright and early from France. Let's go get some breakfast. We're gonna go back to Chef de France in the future. It's gonna happen. Take a look at that painting. I'm pretty sure this is for the scavenger hunt. Even the frame is figment. See his, his face right there? That is so cool. I'm doing extremely well. I, I love that croissant salé. I think I'm gonna get it again. Yes, it was extremely yeah, good. Right. What to get, what to get, what to get. I love the parfait. The parfait was amazing. One of my favorites. For breakfast this morning at Leal, it is the croissant salé. I love this one last time so much. And the duo chocolate recommended by my very kind server, along with the cappuccino, the frosted cappuccino. It sounds really good. I think I've had it before and I loved it. Good appetit. The frosted cappuccino. Croissant salé, as good as ever. This cappuccino slushy, it's okay. I remember it being great. This one's just a little bit too bitter. Too much coffee taste in there. Not enough sweetness, but the croissant salé. I will come here every time for this. Okay, here comes the duo chocolate. Look at this. Oh my gosh, there's like a, a, a marshmallow or white chocolate or something else in there. I'll let you know. That is pretty good. Wow. I need a second bite. It's several different flavors of chocolate mousse. You can actually see it layered in there. There's the, uh, the dark chocolate, the kind of a whiter chocolate or mousse, and then there's something in the middle right there. I don't know if it's all chocolate, but there's definitely mousse and there's a tiny bit of layer cake right there. Delicious. Overall thoughts, the croissant salé, as good as ever. The chocolate duo, really, really good. The coffee, yeah, slushy. It's, it's okay, it's okay at best. I remember it being amazing, so you can probably skip that cappuccino slush. Everything else though, incredible, loved it. Cannot wait to get back here. It's an amazing place. Leal in France, ah, amazing. Time's down 9.45, it's actually a little bit more crowded in World Showcase than I'm used to. Maybe it's just because of the festival. Take a look at the family play zone here with Ralph right there on the ground. Take a look at that line behind me, the standby line, 35 minutes, single rider, a walk on. You can hear my voice is going just a little bit. It's okay, it's the last day of our adventure. Haven't stopped walking. I didn't make a car on the way in here, so it created a new one for me. Here we go. Spectral imaging in progress. Here comes the final test. 
<laughs> that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We wrote it just in time because they just closed it because of the rain. My voice is going. I'm sorry about it, but right next to the test tracks. The test tracks right there. As you turn around here, take a look at that. That is definitely work on the new space restaurant that's coming right next to Mission Space. Mission Space is over there. Right there, the construction on that new restaurant. I cannot wait to see the inside of this. The concept art is unbelievable. Like you are in a space station. I can't wait. <laughs> We're in Interventions right now. Take a look at this building. It used to be the house of the future, now kind of converted to like a science center. Very, very cool, but I don't think they're operating. Colortopia is over there, and right behind me, take a look. You can still see some of, some of all thrills. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Right there. Great throwback. After an invigorating ride on Test Track, let's take some time now to just sit back, relax, see Fountain of Nations with a hot drink in my hand. This grande white chocolate mocha to help my throat is thanks to Lisa and Michael. Thank you so much for your gift cards. I truly appreciate it. I've been looking outside as I've been in Starbucks. The Fountain of Nations show has not been going, so we'll have to catch it another day. It might be because it's a little bit cloudy out. It looks like it could rain any minute. Thomas Kincaid's artwork is just, it's unbelievable. It is unparalleled to me. I mean, how can you, it, it, yeah. Unbelievable talent, I mean, this is incredible, with chalk. Go to the grocery store, get some chalk, unbelievable. Thank you. This time, let's try and make a supercar. Oh yes, that, that's pretty super. Oh no, 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 there we go. <laughs> Solar dry plasma burner. Oh my gosh, that is a super duper car. Flames. Those are the racing stripes. That looks nice. More responsiveness. Look at this. <laughs> look at that on top. You see this? Look, look at this on top. It looks, like, it looks like a submarine. Oh my god. It's, a, it's like a submarine and a car. It has 83 power, 62 responsiveness, 56 capability, and um, 13 efficiency. Given how these concept cars come out, I don't think they're gonna be hiring me to make their cars in the future. Here comes the final test. <laughs> That is awesome, and outside I think I saw some of this space restaurant being built. I took a little video of it. That was so much fun, but so cool to kind of see behind the scenes as you're going. Let's see what the final score was of that crazy supercar. It was 214. That's uh, that's not bad. 214, the top one for today is 232. I got really, really close. I was thinking about the lobster and bacon mac and cheese and the cone, but I'm just not feeling hungry for that right now. I feel like that's a little bit too much. For right now, I'm gonna keep on walking around World Showcase, see if there's something smaller, or maybe I'll work up an appetite. One little spark becomes a creation of your own, and suddenly, you are the inspirer. We are back in World Showcase for more Festival of the Arts. I wanna try something, I think, from Deconstructed Dish. There are several things on that menu that look amazing, and let's also color in more of those squares. Thank you very much. 13. We got 13 this time. Last time I had six. We got a different color. I love it. Let's try and find somewhere to put it. One more, make it five. Perfect. It's fun to be kind of a part of a bigger project here, so you can see that all of our work comes together to make an amazing piece of art. Hey Tom, how are you? Good, how are you? Thank you sir, appreciate it, awesome. So last time I got one of these postcards, the last time we made the mural, it got crushed. This time, making sure it stays safe. Just starting to get hungry, deconstructed BLT, Reuben, oh, which one to get? That's one of my favorites, look at this, right there, that is, that's awesome. The small one here is $40, the large one on the wall is $400. Darren Wilson. Uh, amazing work, Darren. This, that's awesome. Deconstructed dish, I'm gonna go for the BLT with crispy pork belly, tomato jam, and soft poached egg. Yum. I haven't gotten to try it, okay. but I'm All dying. Right. I'll have to, to let you know, I'll have to let you know. Take a look at the deconstructed BLT. It looks delicious, you can see the poached egg right on there. Let's give it a try together. Put it in the sauce, got a little egg in there. Bon appetit. Oh my gosh. I'm impressed with this one. The BLT, you have to like kind of a poached egg. Make sure you like poached egg if you're thinking about getting it. But if you do, this is definitely one to think about. That is outstanding. Outstanding, combine all three. Tomato, egg, meat, it's just, it's so good. It's so, so good with the pork belly, oh my gosh. Overall, gotta say, 
Protein dish, this is fantastic. Definitely recommend deconstructed BLT. Deconstructed dish, really good. After this delicious BLT, I'm thinking about another pop articicle. I know, I know, I know I've had three. There'll be three that I've been having, but it is so good. It's so good. Deconstructed BLT, amazing. I just heard from a friend that Chicken Little, super rare character, is meeting at the Magic Kingdom right now. So I'm debating in my mind, do I go for another deconstructed dish pop article or do I go to Magic Kingdom? I thought about it for a few seconds there. I think I'm actually just gonna go to Magic Kingdom right now, see if we can meet Chicken Little, maybe see a little bit more of the Magic Kingdom, perhaps see more of Mickey and Minnie in those birthday costumes. Those are just so cool and always deserving of a picture. And then we'll be on our way to our next magical adventure via the Magical Express. See you real soon, Epcot. Chicken Little is a character I've seen from pictures from way back when, but I have never met him personally. If we could meet him, that would be so cool. Kingdom. Thank you. We're back at the Magic Kingdom. Chicken Little. Chicken Little is standing right next to the flagpole. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Take a look. Chicken Little and Abby Mallard. <laughs> the sky is falling. Hey, Chicken Little. Good to see you're looking great. You know, the sky is falling. The sky is falling because you're here. Abby Mallard. Good to see you too. You're looking great as always. You're absolutely. You know, I love love the pigtails. They look great on you. They're perfect. And the sweater. When you tell us there's a panel missing, you know, we got to be extra caught. You know, we're, we're on the same page here. We are on the same page. That that was, oh my gosh, that was awesome. I love that meet and greet, wow. If you're at Magic Kingdom and you see rare characters like this, meet them, just just do it because you never know when they'll be back again. Getting a little chilly, I'm gonna head into the Emporium and get my sweatshirt on. It's sweatshirt weather, but it's still a beautiful day in the Magic Kingdom. We have about just an hour left. You just walk around and enjoy it. Maybe you'll go to Pirates, maybe get some Starbucks. So many options, so little time. I think Starbucks is out of the question. That's a super long line. Sounding as good as ever. I'm actually feeling a little bit hungry. It's just about two o'clock now. I don't have much time left, but maybe a quick snack. I'm walking toward Columbia Harbor House, but I'm still deciding as I'm walking. I'm at Sleepy Hollow now. I was thinking about Columbia Harbor House, but I see chicken and waffles. I'm tempted. It all looks really good, but this sweet and spicy chicken waffle sandwich is something I have never tried before. I want to try it. Take a look at lunch today. It is the Sleepy Hollow chicken waffle sandwich. It's supposed to be a little bit spicy. Oh my gosh, look at this waffle. Let's give it a try together. First bite's super unique. There's sweetness, there's, there's spice in there. Really, really interesting one. Let's take another bite. Very, very spicy chicken. You have to like spicy things for this one. It's, it gets more intense as you eat it. Trying the iced mocha from Sleepy Hollow as well. It's not bad, but it's not something I would go out of my way for. I love the waffle. The taste is great. It's just, it is extremely spicy chicken. I, um, Maybe it's the fact that it just got kind of warmer. I took off my sweatshirt, but it's extremely spicy. I need lots of water with this one. My final thoughts about the spicy chicken sandwich and the ice mocha from Sleepy Hollow. Not bad, but not great. Not something that I think I would get again just because it's a bit too spicy for me. It's tough. We're rushing away from Cinderella Castle, but I have only minutes to spare to get to Mickey and Minnie, and then we gotta go to our next adventure. 2.45 now. The Magical Express leaves in one hour. I've got a fast pass to meet Mickey and Minnie in their birthday outfits. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. No problem. Hey Mickey, how are you? Good to see you. You're looking great. Happy birthday to you. It's you don't look a day over 30. In my opinion, 90, not a day over 30. Many happy birthdays to you too. We don't want to forget about your birthday too. Both so fashionable for it. It looks perfect. Oh yeah, you know, I absolutely, you're looking very fashionable. No doubt, Mickey, you too, you can see yourself looking great. As, as always. That was so much fun. It's almost three o'clock. Magical Express leaves at 3.45. We got time, but I don't want to rush at the last minute, so making my way slowly to the buses. We chose the perfect day to wear jeans. It's a, just a little bit chilly. No need for a sweatshirt yet, but at some point, at some point we're gonna be a sweatshirt again. The last few moments. Till next time, Magic Kingdom. We'll be back soon. Don't make me do it, Yasmin. Don't make me do it. See you later. You too. No frown, all smiles. It was a magical, short, but magical adventure. Wouldn't have changed a thing except extend the trip. Can't do that this time, but who knows what the future brings. See you real soon, Monorail.
a chill in the air here. It's probably around 50 degrees right now. It's getting me prepared for the weather I'm going to face in a few hours. Time is now 3.05. There aren't many people in line here, but with that much time, we're gonna make it no problem. Here's the bus. Time is now 3.20. Plenty of time. Elastigirl is taking us back to Coronado. 3.37. Uh, we haven't made it the first stop yet. I may have underestimated how long this is going to take. It's now 3.39. We haven't made it the first stop yet. Oh my gosh, not again. Station 3, 4, and then number 1. It's 3.42. Oh my gosh. Station 4, 3.43. Three forty-four. Uh, oh my gosh! Please be late, Magical Express. Please be late. Oh my god! I've never missed one before. Leaving station four now. Three forty-six. Oh my gosh! I'm in trouble. I'm definitely in trouble. We're near the front. I don't see a Magical Express leaving Coronado yet. I gotta leave more time in the future. Well, I'll leave more time in the future. I promise. Oh no! Oh, I see it. I see it. We're waiting right now. Oh my gosh! Please don't pull away. Please don't pull away. Please don't pull away. Don't pull away. Stay right there. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. It's still there. It's, it's still there. Oh my gosh, we can do it. There it is. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we made this. Time is now 3.48. We just, we just made it. Oh my gosh. Did I get lucky or were you just waiting for me? Uh, I, gotta I, go I got through. lucky. <laughs> that was too close. <laughs> We've got to stop doing that. I, I'm telling you, we have got to stop doing that. I thought I left plenty of time, but the bus leaving Magic Kingdom was, it took like 17 minutes, so that's what delayed us. I didn't expect it to take that long, and I, I should think ahead. Okay, we made it. That was super close. Okay, Coral Now Springs, see you real soon. Airport time. I made it back goofy, just like I promised. Take a look at this collection for Mickey's birthday. I love a lot of these. Mouse party, unlock the fun with the keyhole right there. This one. It's just too cool with the Disney D right there in the castle. That's, that feels like a classic one. Look at this collection right here of a lot of different Mickey celebration pins. That is great. It's amazing what they do to celebrate the big cheese. Mickey Mouse, Mouse Party, 90 year old key. Wow. After a magical adventure, time to get on a plane. <laughs> Made it through and not to worry, I didn't forget my headphones this time. Hope you enjoyed your Orlando experience. I did. 100 through 129. We have kind of a tradition to get food in the airport, but I'm not that hungry right now. Maybe closer to the flight, it's over an hour to go, so maybe I'll get food later. Right now I could go for a nice warm drink from Starbucks. Sande, uh, tuxedo hot chocolate, please. This tuxedo hot chocolate is thanks to Amber. Amber, thank you so much for your gift card. I really appreciate it. After I went to Starbucks and got this delicious tuxedo hot chocolate, thanks to Amber. Amber, thank you again for your gift card. I decided, you know what? We're not landing till 9 p.m. So some kind of dinner definitely makes sense. Decided to stop at Chipotle, like, and this one is thanks to Sean and Tasha. Sean and Tasha, you used your gift card for dinner. I really appreciate it. We've got just over 40 minutes to sit back, relax, enjoy a little bit of a Florida sunset, drink some coffee, eat some food, and reminisce about our magical adventure. <music> Off to our next adventure. Someone got pretty sick on board. They're trying to figure it out right now. Motion sickness. They're in the communication with a doctor on the ground. Big shout out to Southwest right now. Unbelievable care for this individual who's not feeling well. Unbelievable. We just heard from the captain. They've 
accelerated. We're going to get there at least 20, 10, 15 minutes early. Uh, we're going to stay seated once we land, and medical service is going to come and help this man make sure he's okay. It's likely just motion sickness, but we'll see. Well, y'all, we're going to ask that everyone remain seated. We do have medical staff meeting the aircraft upon arrival. I got the buckle like around the waist. Yep. You just feel like you're gonna get sick. No We're rooting for you. We're rooting for you. It was the most interesting flight I've ever been on. Back at BWI, it is freezing cold, and that was definitely the most interesting flight I've ever been on. In case it didn't come out during the flight, when we were on board, there was a man of row behind and row over who became very, very sick uh, within the first 40 minutes of the flight. Of course, when he did, we were all worried about him and his health, and of course, we were worried that it was contagious or something like that. It was it was scary. It was absolutely scary. After a while, he, he was talking to some of the uh, uh, flight attendants. They did an amazing job, by the way. Southwest, awesome. They were incredible, incredible. They were with him the whole time. They never let him go. It was amazing. And when this happened, you know, he eventually got out the fact that this has happened to him before, and he just has like extreme motion sickness. So throughout the rest of the you know flight, it was actually a little bit bumpy. So I felt terrible for him, but not a contagious thing. It's it's still so sad to see, and you know I felt really bad for him because it's more of an embarrassment than anything else. But I saw him. The EMTs came on board at the end of the flight, took him off, and they're making sure he's okay. So he was he was with the EMTs. I just saw him as we were exiting. So he was uh, near the exit. He's, he's likely going to be fine because he's had this before, but we were all praying for him as he was leaving and everything. And I mean, it was just, it was amazing how the entire passengers and crew came together to try and pull for this guy. This goes to show Southwest service is unbelievable. And I really feel like, you know, when I, I travel to these places and I go, you know, Baltimore, Orlando, or wherever I am, changing planes, whatever that's happening, I feel like there's just a general goodness in people. Everyone just came together. To, to root for this guy, and you know, I, I felt terrible for him, I felt embarrassed for him, but I'm, I'm glad he's gonna be okay. Huge kudos to Southwest, amazing job. You have some of the best flight attendants I've ever, ever interacted with. Well, job well done. Onward, time to get luggage. It's always a guessing game at BWI. Where is the luggage gonna come out at? Eventually, I just asked one of the uh, kind members of the Southwest team, and they told me, Carousel 6. Baggage claim belt jammed, so if the luggage is not amongst this, which it is not, we go to 7. The luggage is not... Oh wait, wait a minute. Yes, it is there. There's my bag. Oh my gosh, I missed it the first time. Time to go out and brave the cold. Well, that's super cold. Oh, I see my ride. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today and on this adventure. It was so much fun to share it with you. Until next time, have a magical day.